Okay, now we got another watch. Well, not another. I think this is the first one I've done on this channel. I planned on doing a different one, but it wasn't that interesting. Um, top 10 brutal over-the-top deaths in uh, cartoon shows. We shall see. I usually give the video a quick little scan like that just to see if there's yeah, anything I'm recognizable. I'm their photographer. Not a fact. We'll get ready to shoot. Superman Welcome to Planet. I'm their photographer. 1996. Counting down our picks for the top 10 brutal over the top deaths in cartoon shows. Fox, show yourself. Power. I'm gonna show yourself by. For this list, we'll be looking at the surprisingly <laughs> violent demises of characters in cartoons. However, we won't be including any deaths from adult animated shows, as they can make up their own list. And just in case it wasn't clear, spoilers ahead. Spoiler Which of these alert. Deaths took you by surprise. Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Dan Turpin, Superman the Animated Series. Who the hell is Dan that? Dan Turpin was never the biggest fan of Superman's. The radioactive is he hole Superman's J.J. Jameson? Deep, but that's going to increase, and quickly. Shouldn't you be paging your new best friend, the Buckethead? While working in the special crimes unit of the Metropolis PD, Turpin often took issue with the way the hero would insert himself in police business. But he put aside those feelings when Darkseid and his army came knocking on Earth's front door. Will be good hunting. Despite being vastly <laughs> outclassed in tech, he like stood Disney his villain. ground and would end up saving Superman, turning the tides. Once Darkseid was defeated, he left Earth, but not before Round giving Superman Omega. one final gift. With barely a thought, his Omega Beams hit Turpin, instantly turning him to dust. <laughs> being killed out of spite after the battle was already won makes it sting even wow. more. Wow. The, the world didn't really need it. That's Superman. so fucking petty. Just a brave one. Number nine, Bunny. The Powerpuff Girls. The professor Ooh, accidentally. Ooh, yo, that's a bar. Just yo, that's a, a bar, one. nigga. Oh really shit. Need a Superman. Just a brave one. Number Just nine. Just a brave Bunny, man. The Powerpuff yeah, Girls. Fire. The professor accidentally created three adorable superheroes while working in his lab. Blossom, bubbles, and I don't think I've seen this episode. I don't even really remember the Powerpuff Girls. When the Powerpuff like Girls tried the same experiment, they created a more flawed sister named Bunny. While this new addition to the family had powers, her body was unstable. We all learned this the hard way after she helped save the town from a situation she caused. She's been releasing prisoners from jail and imprisoning the police. Panic in the streets, criminals on the loose. Townsville in much, much trouble. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. the strain of saving the day was way too much. Her body eventually ends up bursting in an explosion of bright light. At least Bunny's final act was doing Was there any sound? It was a brutal <laughs> ending to her short life. Bunny saved us! Uh, but where is she? <gasps> Bunny! Oh, she's Damn. Broken. Number eight, Pops, regular show. Pops was one of the most adorable and happy-go-lucky characters on regular show. Wait, did you there even hit it? Pops, I don't want to break it. This board could one day grow up they had a beautiful dynamic. Dramatic series. ass deaths. So we never randomly would have expected him to have randomly exploding in every episode. But completely unassuming for the majority of the show, Pops was actually quite powerful. He you also had an intimidating twin brother known as Anti Pops. Any word on locating Pops? We're still scouring the Blyze Dwarf Quadrant, sir. This villain tried his best to destroy everything and everyone in his path. During the confrontation in the show's finale, Pops tackles his brother and flies him into the sun, sacrificing himself. Although the two reconcile before they reach it, dying within the sun has got to be one of the most over-the-top self-sacrifices we've seen in cartoons. Man, I can't believe it's been 25 years. Yeah, I wish Pops could have been here to see this. Well, if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have this. Number seven, hmm. Bill Cipher, Gravity Falls. Fun Bill fact, I have never seen took Gravity Falls. In bringing misfortune to others. This is fire. It is one of the best shows ever. Everyone that I know that has seen it talks highly about it. Reign. Bill strikes up a deal with Ford to enter his mind in exchange for his family's safety. But this bargain ends up getting the villain trapped inside of his old foe Stan's mind. If I didn't have this darn plate in my head, we could just erase him with the memory gun when he steps inside my mind. What if he goes into my mind? My brain isn't good for anything. The hero also volunteers to get his memory erased while Bill is still trapped inside his rival's head. To visually represent this erasing process, flames close in on the villain. As the fire grew closer, Bill begged for his life as his body changed into tons of strange shapes. With a final punch from Stan, the villain burst into little pieces. Stan Lee! 
Damn. Mean right. Number six, Fruit Witch, Adventure Time. Although this character isn't around long enough, I've only seen a few episodes of name, Adventure still Time. One of the gnarliest animated demises. I take him. I know, I know that it is a good show, but I don't know why I just never gave it a chance. I think by the time that it started to come on TV a lot, I think it's had on demand. And once you get on demand, bro, <laughs> there's no going and watching new shows as a kid. You just gonna put on whatever you are used to. If I didn't cry when people died, I'd have a cold butt for a heart. The fruit. In a season three episode, Finn and Jake explore Joshua's dungeon and come across several deadly monsters. One room features a dining table covered in fruit and three witches that try to convince Finn to, to eat. It. Partake of the fruit. Maybe I will partake of the fruit. Before he can, his pal Jake knocks away the apple and forces one of the witches to take a bite. The magic fruit then transforms the witch into a giant. Damn. <laughs> Immediately after the transformation, the other two begin to rip her to shreds. For added effect, you can even see a skeleton at the core of this gruesome apple. <laughs> Time to go, baby. Number Holy five. Holy shit. Rick Tamsin, Star Wars: The Clone Wars. Hey. Star Wars can get surprisingly violent, especially during a period it of extended war. After the assassination of his father and the fall of his kingdom beneath a planetary civil I war, Mon Cala Prince Lee Char has gone into hiding with Padawan Ahsoka Tano as his only protector. After his father was assassinated, a young prince named Lee Char attempted to recapture his planet. During the battle, he finds the vicious Rift Tamsin, who happily confesses to the act. No, it wasn't your arrangement. It was mine! One of the villain's weapons of choice were explosive daggers, so it's fitting that Lee Char sticks one of the dangerous weapons into his enemy. As Tamsin charged him, the prince shot the explosive dagger. This great shot instantly causes the villain to explode into bits. In case there's any doubt as to what just happened, we get a shot of Tamsin's floating head, head no a satisfying kill. That was fire. I didn't really like this episode though because of the lighting. The Number was four, annoying. a coup. See. Samurai Jack. <laughs> Fans had to wait an awfully long time before they got to see this villain defeated. I can't. Thankfully, it was a victorious moment that was Damn. worth the wait. Damn. After spending decades enduring a like torment, the samurai known as Jack finally got a chance to dispatch his foe. Without a second's hesitation, Jack slices through a coup with extreme prejudice. But I will destroy you in the future. There is no future for you, Aku. Damn. Down inside, Energy. He tried to flee, <laughs> was extremely satisfying. Jack finally finishes off the villain by driving his sword through Aku's head and out his mouth. This also caused the last of the antagonist's essence to be trapped inside Jack's magical katana. The hero didn't hesitate to eliminate the final piece of his foe once and for all in an over-the-top finish. It is done. Number three, Simon Laurent, Infinity Train. I have Passengers never heard of the this Infinity show. Infinity Train are meant to work through their traumas by navigating its cars with HBO wildly Max erratic original. environments until they find peace and return home. You tried to control me, just like you control the apex. How the hell is she a turtle? But there are some who believe the true purpose of the train is to stay as long as possible for a secret reward. During the show's run, Simon committed all manner of heinous acts to keep his place on the moving vehicle. But Simon left me for dead, trapped in- Your number speaks louder than words, void. But that led to his untimely death. During a fight with his former friend Grace, Simon is attacked by a mysterious creature known as a gome. The mysterious creature pinned him down and the sucked fuck? out his soul. As a side effect, his body turned to dust. Simon could do nothing but scream in fear. This is the last thing I ever wanted. But we know the truth. What the hell is this show? It. Number two, Toffee, Star versus the Forces of Evil. I've never Despite heard of this. Despite having either. the same name as one of the world's sweetest treats, Toffee was a despicable villain. This stuff is the magic. Toffee is whack. It was. Until I got here. Although Star may have thought she was rid of him by the end of the first season, only his physical form was destroyed. He eventually made a full return in season three. Although the powerful villain was close to victory, Toffee was defeated by Star after she tapped into a new and highly powerful form. Star, what are you doing? I'm getting us out of here. Star, no! It's boiling! She used her power to blast him with a deadly beam. Toffee Damn. was quickly reduced into a goopy mess, clinging to half a skeleton. 
Although he still seemed confident he'd won, the villain was quickly crushed by a pillar. Only I know how this all turns out. We guess the heroes wanted to be extra thorough the second time around. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel Resident and ring Evil. the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Where she said, Number one, the Earth Queen, the Legend hey. of Korra. I actually fucked with both avatar show shows. Afraid to show villains facing dark Niggas just be trying to find a reason to Fans hate on anything. The sinister Pali literally lost her head at the end of a tense battle. I forgot about that. <laughs> However, it's the demise of the Earth Queen that sticks out most in fans' minds. I remember this Although one, though. she was a despicable and petty ruler, we Suffocated don't know if anyone to go out the way she did. I will not bandy words with bounty hunters. Seize these hoodlums and throw them in prison. Her death comes right after a villain named Zaheer infiltrates her Yo, throne. Yo, Zaheer was he badass. to remove the queen from power by airbending the oxygen right out of her lungs. As the queen's eyes bulge, she gasps for air in vain. The brutality of this execution literally took our breath away. And without it, there is no life. There is only... Yo, Zaheer was badass. Darkness. Did you enjoy this video? <laughs> Check out these other clips from Watch Fire. And be sure to sub... Avatar got it.